we're going to spend the majority of it preparing your orals. In the 1960s, a crucial part of the English exam was the oral test, where students would have to speak for three minutes on the topic of their choosing. A good way to go about this is to write out your speech in longhand and then convert it to notes, because obviously what we do not want is all of you standing up. I like fly fishing because it is very fun. That is not going to work. Oral classes were vital to improving the standard of spoken English in the classroom. Not only in terms of diction, but also breadth of vocabulary. Firstly, you write out in longhand and then you convert it to notes. Is it down look at what we wrote? Written. written. What we've written. Do you won't look at what you've written. Well, more because, because otherwise you'll just ramble. It'll be appalling. It's what, very yeah. difficult to talk for three minutes without preparing, Robert. What's Neil could get there now and do No. Five I don't care whether you can or yeah, not. So I don't have to write it, do I? Robert, your task for today is to prepare a speech. You will complete that task. <laughs> Persistent troublemaker Alex Roberts is having none of it and claims to have already completed the task in just a matter of seconds. I've finished. You haven't finished, I can promise you. I haven't. <laughs> well, you can sit there very bored for the rest of the lesson, which is over an hour. Okay. In silence. Okay. And you can <gasps> go and stand in the corner, actually, with your facing it, so I don't have to look at your smug little face. Get into the corner now. Now, put down whatever's in your hand, look at the corner, take your hands out of your pockets. I'm sorry Alex, I, I cannot find your um, longhand version of your speech. I am telling you to do a longhand emergent speech. Are you, let me clarify this, are you refusing to do what I have asked you to do? No, well, that's what it sounds like. If you're not refusing, then you will sit down and you will do your longhand version of the speech. No, no. So you are refusing. Are you refusing to do the task that I've asked you to do, Alex? I'm asking you a simple question. Are you refusing to do the task that I have set? Well, I have to ask a couple of questions before I can answer that. I've now run out of patience. And you've got yourself into a lot of trouble. Turn and face the wall. Mr Vince, could you possibly come up here and retrieve a child from my classroom? Roberts is sent to see the headmaster, while the rest of the class get a chance to read out their practice orals. Alfred Hitchcock has made many of the most famous horror, film, horror and thriller films of all time, including Psycho which has influenced many of the modern-day slasher and horror films. The kids have proved themselves to be totally useless at spelling, place names and times tables. He stepped out of the aircraft with the biggest beam in his face. But modern education has some pluses. GCSE English places an emphasis on communication and expression. And for these kids, the oral poses no problem. It's a maiden pal surprise around 2,000 boys turned up wearing neckerchiefs with different colours for each group. However, to Agnes's surprise, a large amount of young ladies shown up calling themselves Girl Scouts. Uh, Mr Asante. So far, Franklin Asante has underachieved at Hope Green, but he relishes the chance to finally express himself. This is not finished, and please do not laugh at me. We wouldn't laugh at you, Asante. We wouldn't be so rude. She stood from a distance, tall, with ebony black hair that waved in the overheated sun. But at the time, my heart, like an amateur flower, had not yet opened its pretty blossoms to love. It may seem strange, but at that moment, my low-spirited soul was awoken by her rich scented of aroma. Like a drum roll practice in a routine, my heart skipped beats every time her lips parted to begin a sentence. That was when I knew I had fallen in love. She always melted me, but who was I to say that I had fallen for the girl that I had no chance with? A story of my life I thought I would never get through. Clearly, modern schooling isn't all bad. No boy would have dared talk about his feelings like that in the 1960s. 